Hi, this is Brandon from Watches on You. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Bremont Alt 1 ZT 5 1. But before we do that, I just want to remind all of you that I have a Kickstarter currently going on for a watch that I designed. It costs $149 and it is a Mecha Quartz based chronograph. So, to start the chronograph, uh, you push the top pusher, it's got a smooth seconds hand, and then it resets just like a mechanical chronograph, but you have both the affordability and accuracy of a quartz movement. Additionally, it has a time zone scale on the back and unit conversion scales. So I'll be dropping a link to my Kickstarter campaign in the description for this watch. Uh, we really want to get it funded, it's been very successful so far, and we expect it to be a big seller. So now let's move on to the rest of this review. So as I said, this is the Breitling Alt 1-ZT-51. And we're here at Continental Diamond in St. Louis Park where this watch is available on sale brand new for $6,095. Now this watch is very similar to another watch in the Alt 1 collection, which I have right here, which is more of a, it's got more of a world time vibe to it. But I assure you that the bezel is the same on the inside uh, in terms of its mechanism, obviously the labeling is different as this watch, which has more of a militaristic flair to it. So getting into the kind of mechanism behind this watch, so it's got a ETA based chronograph movement, but it actually has a GMT module on it, so it does have a GMT function, and then it's got this inner rotating GMT bezel. It's got a really unique watch, or unique look, sorry, um, and the finishing is just fantastic. Bre Bremont has their beautiful signature brushed finishing on it. I mean, Bremont is just so unique, and I expect them to be a huge seller here at Continental Diamond. They just became an authorized retailer of Bremont watches. Um, we've had nothing really like them in Minnesota for a long time, and I'm really excited to get to review more of them for the channel, because up until about a week ago, we had never not reviewed a single um, Bremont, watch, Bremont watch, uh, and I'm really excited to get into the more complicated pieces. So I'll demonstrate the chronograph function here. So to actuate the chronograph, you hit the top pusher, and it's just a standard chronograph. And then to stop it, you just touch the top pusher again and reset using the bottom pusher. Um, it feels very nice. Again, it's just your typical ETA-based chronograph, so it feels um, great. It's very kind of, the pusher's a little bit hard, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, in terms of how the finish uh, movement is finished, you can see that through the exhibition case back. This is obviously a top grade ETA-based movement. Um, you can see it has gorgeous perlage, even below the balance wheel, it's got a little bit of perlage elements on it. Uh, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous watch, and I'm really impressed with how they did this. And I think it's actually a very reasonable price. Again, $6,095, you're getting a GMT and a chronograph function. This is just the perfect watch for traveling. It's really tough, so you could use it when you're doing various activities outside, and it looks very, very nice. The strap is super comfortable, uh, it's genuine leather. And um, I'll try this watch on for a wrist shot now. It's got a 43 millimeter diameter, which makes it look uh, pretty much perfect. I mean, it's a chronograph, so it's slightly above, uh, or it's a chronograph, so I can allow it uh, to be a little bit above 40 millimeters, which is obviously my kind of limit. Um, but again, it's a chronograph, so you, you can you can kind of make an exception for that, and it could be a little bit larger. It looks great on my wrist. I have about a 6.5 inch wrist for uh, in circumference, just for comparison purposes. And I think it looks fantastic. If you like this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and remember to check out the links in the description to both Continental Diamonds website as well as my Kickstarter campaign that I had mentioned previously in the video. Thanks for watching.